Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. I'm the Drunk Book Guru. It's beer time. is the penultimate day of Drink the Fridge. Drink the Fridge. As we talked about earlier today, if you've caught that episode, if not, is it episode? Do I have episodes? I don't have episodes. Can I call it an episode? I mean, it's like three minutes long. Is it an episode? It could be an episode. I could go longer. Nobody wants that. I get you. I digress. Talking about the beer fridge. Now, we have found some real gems lurking in the back. Some bourbon barrel-aged imperial stouts and whatnot have you. And there's some barley wine. Barley wine, you say? But there are also some pale ales and some things that maybe I should have drunk sooner, and I didn't. And that's on me. That's not on the beer. And I look at the beer a different way. I'm like, you know what? I'm sorry, beer. So we're going to talk about this one now. Probably going to come up again because they're probably going to make this again soon. From our friends at Royal City, brewed last, oh, I'm going to say, I don't know, last fall, uh, has the best before date on here. Best before 28th December 2018. This is me looking at me. So just give me a second, folks. Why can't you drink your beer on time? Okay, now I'm going to come back talking to you guys. Sorry, I just had to give myself crap. So anyways, it's a community brew. Made with backyard hops from the community. People just bring their hops in and they brew a beer. So you're probably getting lots of different hops in here. It's a fresh hop beer, dry hop beer. I don't know, why not? Sure, why not? It's a dry hop pale ale. Um, I'm going to drink it because, and I'm going to enjoy it, and yes, absolutely, 5.0% ABV, and I'm going to apologize to the good people at Royal City for not drinking my beer fresh, because I do enjoy the beers from Royal City, and the Guelphs, I love Guelphs, I have a lot of friends up in the Guelphs, or as my, my map used to call it, my, my, my road map there used to call it Guelph, and I'll be like, what the hell's Guelph? I'm getting more maltiness now. There is a bit of citrus coming through. Okay, well, let's get into this again. It's on me. This is not this 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 beer was supposed to be drunk eight months ago, nine months ago. So I probably bought this beer almost a year ago, and it went in the fridge. And how it got missed, I don't know. And that's completely on me. Poor fridge management skills. <sighs> Cheers, my friends. I mean, it probably tastes better fresh. It probably tastes much more citrusy. Although there is a bit of orange citrus coming through. Touches of grapefruit. It's maltier. And now maybe it was a maltier beer. I don't know because it was, you know, brewed a year ago. What am I doing? Like Sometimes I'm like, sure, that's great that I forget about bourbon barrel aged stuff. But who's forgetting pale ales? Wonder sometimes. That boy's not right. Beer's okay. So, I mean, it's beer, right? It's beer. It's alcohol. Now, beer can go bad. Absolutely. This is not bad. This is okay. And that's uh, fresh. I think this would actually be like a four out of five easily. It's a very nice beer. It's got good legs, as they say. So, you know what? For for pushing a year old, it's aight. It's aight. And again, anything that's not all right about it is on me. So, there you have it, my friend. Royal City made a beer that held up to even the toughest of tests. My poor fridge management skills. So pokes, pokes, pokes school of fridge management. Don't do what Donnie don't does. I'm going to go drink my beer. Drink your damn beer. Drink the fridge. Cheers. How many different shows can I reference in like a single thing of an episode? It's not episode. Stop calling it an episode. I don't know. 